After watching this video, I asked myself, well, I think we have a law they enacted in this country that says that uh, a man will not marry another man. Yes, a man will not marry another man. Why didn't they complete that law that a man will not sleep with another man? Because what they are holding on to is that they say you should not marry, but you can sleep with your fellow man. Can you imagine? I've said it over and over again. I've never seen where a cock goes after cock. You know, a male animal goes after female animal. And that is the way it is. That is nature for you. But now, human beings with the common sense, human beings with the common sense, male versus male, female versus female. No wonder adult pampas is very costly now. Even the elderly people that it was meant for cannot afford it. This country is a pit of hell, I must tell you. And that's why I said that was so ever Britain joined together. God will put us under. God will do us favor. He will put us under. A lot of things in this country are not compatible. You will listen to this particular video now and you will confirm it. May God deliver his people from this hopeless triangle. Share this video. My name is Brother Paul Ochibu. God bless you. A politician, a renowned politician, sent me a text. A renowned, a very big politician. I won't call his name and I won't call the position he's holding. So, and he told me that I should read this thing out. He said, Good evening, sir. Sir, there is a cult in Nigeria whose members that are male sleep with male in Nigeria to renew that political control. They are not homosexuals by nature, but they are made to have sexual intercourse with fellow men so as to keep being politically relevant. They do this intercourse three times a year. I believe Bob is their pimp. He is among those being slept with along with some other gays. Are you aware he does parties without camera? Those parties are being organized and funded by those cult members during their constant rituals. Nothing will happen to Bob Risky. Some of you do not know that this country is controlled by men who sleep with men to regain political control and Bob Risky is their pimp. Whenever those cult members want to sleep with men so as to renew their power, they pay Bob Risky millions. Bob Risky, on the other hand, will supply them all their consignment. Sometimes they will organize a party through Bob and come to fish out their men to renew their claim. This is a classical information. Keep it secret. Otherwise, you might be sued if you divulge it, even though you want, you want to divulge it. Use wisdom. I am reading it exactly as it was sent to me. Now, the part that got me very interested in is this in, uh, which is the last paragraph, the second to the last paragraph, say, whenever these cult members want to sleep with men so as to renew their power, they pay Bob Risky millions. Bob Risky, on the other hand, will supply them all their consignments. Sometimes they will organize a party through Bob and come to fish out other men to renew their claim. Now, everything here in this video is alleged. It's alleged. It's, it's an opinion. It's not a... Uh, it's, it's, just, it's, it's just an allegation. It's alleged. It's not substantiated. But this is what was sent to me. And I said, let me read it out. So because when you are beginning to wonder, where is Bob Risky having money to do all the videos, to spend all the videos, the flaunt monies around? I think this... This paragraph clearly explains it all. So, I, I don't intend to say too much. But I urge Nigerians to stand firm and protect the culture that we've been used to. The culture that I know is man marrying a woman and having children and dying peacefully and their children take care of, the, of them. That is the culture I know. Any culture that suggests same-sex attraction, I have never been part of it. I will now, and I'll use my last breath to fight and save the image of the prick. Because me and a prick I get, I can only say what I have. So prick to me is a very dear companion. It's the only thing I know that God took time to create. The fact that people can subject prick into the horrendous torture of chukini tisanyash to undergo smelly condition, it's, it's repulsive, it's irritating, it's annoying, it, it, it's disgusting. So I cannot stand by and see our precious prick being subjected to this ridic ridiculousness that is called homo. That, I cannot stand and, and watch it. Now, we are being ruled, I think, there's a there's a cult that is in control of our affairs and the earlier we fight against it the better for us because this we don't care whether our roads are bad whether our hospitals are not functioning whether our transport system is not functioning they don't just care if you like you cry here to tomorrow that look my brother i don't know i don't know if it's just me but i don't know if you know how expensive it is to live now i have a family of uh we are a family of four here but i can tell you that ten thousand naira will not feed us a day barely we survive on 10 000. just feeding alone we're not talking about other expenses such as light bill house rent transportation clothing toiletries and all of that just feeding alone 
Now we cannot continue like this. We totally cannot continue like this. And to think that the more the country is deteriorating, some people still find a space to accommodate tribal hatred, religious hatred, beats my imagination. Completely beats my imagination. Oh, 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 oh,